Good afternoon all. I, Garvijayan, and my friend and classmate Tanush Bhattnagar are going to expose you to dark matter. The 25 to 27 percent of the universe is made up of dark matter, and as much as it sounds fancy, it's a non-baryonic form of matter, and its result can be witnessed throughout the universe. Gravitational lensing is the most prevalent feature of its effect. This is a process in which light is distorted by the gravitational force of dark matter by distant galaxies and star clusters. Have you ever wondered what would happen if your body were to collide with dark matter? Well, all other type of matter can be penetrated by dark matter particles, but if they collide with you, they will not lose their energy and the chance of occurring that is very high. And by high I mean here is 3 billion times per second. To take a deeper look into dark matter, it's made from particles known as WIMPs that stand for weakly interacting mass particles. These are among hypothetical dark matter candidates. The properties of the WIMPs are they only interact through weak nuclear force or by gravity by sending ripples in space-time. They have huge masses compared to other subatomic particles. They have 100 times the mass of a proton and 200 times the energy. Owing to the lack of light, these subatomic particles are electromagnetic neutral. There are also forms of dark matter. They are generally divided into two groups, warm dark matter and cold dark matter. The biggest distinction between them is that the warm dark matter is made of subatomic particles that have less mass than the cold dark matter. On the other hand, the cold dark matter holds a lot of mass. Cold dark matter interacts very weakly with ordinary matter and its speed is sluggish compared to warm dark matter. WIMPs have been suggested as a candidate for cold dark matter but when they are generated non-thermally, they may also serve as a candidate for warm dark matter. Another type of WIMP particles is the WIMP sub GeV particle which has very little mass. To shift the topic from dark matter to the theory of quantum gravity, the theory of quantum gravity implies that the gravitational waves are made up of smaller particles known as gravitons. The property of the gravitons are, they are massless and travel at the speed of light, they have a spin too which means they are a boson. Now we are aware of dark matter, WIMPs and gravitons. I, I would like to pass on to Tanush to continue this topic and further introduce you to our idea. Hi all, I'm Tanush Bhatnagar. I see that you've already met my friend Garvit Jain and taken a step deeper into knowing about dark matter. After knowing that billions of dark matter particles pass each second through your body, you must be wondering if your body has dark matter too. Well, worth a possibility. Did you know that the invisibility cloak Harry Potter wears has 87.5% dark matter content in it. No, not really. But after we know about dark matter in a much better way and gain more information about its properties, we may be able to create one. As we all know, particle physics is referred to as the study of atoms and subatomic particles inside them. Since the 1930s, the theories and findings of thousands of physicists have given rise to a profound insight into the basic structure of matter. It is found that everything in the universe is made up of a few building blocks called the fundamental particles, governed by four fundamental forces. The standard model of particle physics encapsulates our strongest understanding of how these particles and three forces are interrelated. Established in the early 1970s, Almost all experimental results have been successfully interpreted and a wide variety of phenomena have been precisely predicted using the concepts of the standard model. We are going to try to implement the ideas of the standard model to understand the nature and structure of the dark matter particles. I came up with the hypothesis of parallels between gravitons and dark matter particles. I took my friend Garvin's help to build and add on to my theory after I came up with the basic idea. Both have weak interactions, both interfere with gravity, the two cannot be detected using EMR, both have zero net charge and both have very little mass. And if you measure the energy momentum density of graviton, it would be the it would be behave the same as dark matter fluid. These are some similarities that can be seen in WIMPs and gravitons. A major difference is that gravitons 
or have a mass lesser than that of wilts and wilts are candidates of cold dark matter which are slow and have greater mass than gravitons but suggesting that the sub gev particles are of which are a form of warm dark matter and which have more mass compared to them but less mass compared to the wilts could be gravitons the status of our theory is still hypothetical and hence is not proven using mathematical or experimental based evidence our theory is continually changing as we add more and more concepts to it thank you